How do we solve our patients' hard-to-solve medical problems? Our doctors and specialists collaborate, sharing their vast knowledge and Mayo Clinic's unique expertise. It's this working together that helps solve our patients' hard-to-solve medical problems. Monument Health, proud member of the Mayo Clinic Care Network. Every home tells a story. Wherever you live, whatever your style, express yourself with Ashley Home Store. So many styles to help tell your story and create your unique dream home. Ashley Home Store, this is home. Are you looking to steal a deal on your next vehicle? Whether you're looking for a car, truck, or SUV, shop from over 1,000 vehicles at menholeauto.com. Menhol Auto Group is a proud supporter of the South Dakota State Baseball Tournament and would like to wish good luck to all participating players and teams. Have a great game and knock one out of the park from Denny Menholt Rapid Chevrolet, Toyota, and Rushmore Honda. All three stores conveniently located off I-90 Exit 60, Rapid City. We think quality and craftsmanship. That's why at Badlands Distillery, all of our spirits are made in-house, one small batch at a time. We believe the best spirits start with the best ingredients, so we're proud that the Badlands Distillery lineup uses high quality, locally sourced ingredients. So the next time you enjoy the smooth taste of a Badlands Distillery spirit, you know you're drinking the best. Badlands Distillery, proudly American made. Everyone says they want to change the world. But not everyone will. We are not everyone. What Americans needed a car that worked harder than a car. We built them a truck. And they used our trucks to build interstates and industries and communities, livelihoods and neighborhoods. Americans needed vehicles worthy of who they are and what they can do. So, we built them a truck. As a Venture Communications customer, you're ready for tomorrow. Where you live, the world's at your fingertips through a fast and reliable fiber optic internet connection. You can choose the RushNet broadband speed you want, all the way up to a gigabit. And your own team of technical experts are ready to help 24-7. Change your world with RushNet high-speed internet. Be ready for tomorrow. Get connected. Call Venture Communications today. If you're hunting for a great deal on your next ride, get into Gateway Ford Lincoln Toyota in Pier. We're locked and loaded on all of our new and used inventory, like this 2018 Toyota Highlander, only 28495 Looking for low price reliability? Try a 2011 Honda Accord for only 6995 Who wants a loaded up truck? We have a 2014 Chevy Silverado 1500 LTZ for only 17995 Get to Gateway Ford Lincoln Toyota in Pier, 518 East Sioux Avenue. Call 605-224-7378 and visit Gateway F. LT.com. We hope you are all enjoying the student productions of your school. 
Tonight's event and every event produced by your school during the school year are created, filmed, and produced by the students you love to follow and support. Become a booster of your school's live event coverage by becoming a sponsor. It's a great way to show your support of the athletes and students in your community. As a sponsor, you'll get great visibility for your business, organization, or family by supporting the live productions of your school. Harry K. Ford is your only dealer who does $29.95 oil changes every day. Yep, that includes all the oil for the vehicle. Those other guys don't do that. As a Venture Communications customer, you're ready for tomorrow. Where you live, the world's at your fingertips through a fast and reliable fiber optic internet connection. You can choose the RushNet broadband speed you want, all the way up to a gigabit. And your own team of technical experts are ready to help 24-7. Change your world with RushNet high-speed internet. Be ready for tomorrow. Get connected. Call Venture Communications today. Your local cooperative has a new name. CHS Northern Plains and CHS Midwest Cooperative have joined together to better serve you under the new name CHS River Plains. You gain more options and more value with access to global markets and a powerful supply chain. And you can do more every day using inputs delivered by a team who knows what you need, when you need it. Visit us online at chsriverplains.com or stop in today and let us help you own every day. Are you looking to steal a deal on your next vehicle? Whether you're looking for a car, truck, or SUV, shop from over 1,000 vehicles at MenholtAuto.com. Menholt Auto Group is a proud supporter of the South Dakota State Baseball Tournament and would like to wish good luck to all participating players and teams. Have a great game and knock one out of the park from Denny Menholt Rapid Chevrolet, Toyota, and Rushmore Honda. All three stores conveniently located off I-90 Exit 60, Rapid City. At Ashley Home Store, when we say we got it, we really mean it. We've got all the popular styles for every room in your home, as well as some of the highest quality and customer ratings in the industry. Not to mention, we've also got the top mattress brands like Sealy, Tempur-Pedic, and Ashley Sleep. And payroll deduction financing available so you can take time to pay. So come in today and see why your Pierre Ashley Home Store is the top choice for everything home. Hurry in. We're located on South Garfield Avenue in Pierre. This is home. Right now is a great time to be planning for the next growing season. Fall fertilizer application can give your crops a strong start in the spring. Because the nutrients available and needed in each field vary, your Actegra agronomist can help determine your specific nutrient needs and the benefits of applying them now. To optimize your inputs for next year's crop, contact your Actegra agronomist for details or visit Actegra.com today. Harry K. Ford, your go-to dealer for transparency and the lowest prices. From sales to service, we pride ourselves on transparency and low prices. It's who we are every day. Family, friends, and Fords, in that order. We've got a history of serving you. A history of family-owned community banking that goes back over 100 years. We grew up here. We're local. And local ownership means local decisions. It means our products are tailored to meet local needs. We take pride in our support of many local organizations and encourage community growth through charitable contributions and employee involvement. First Fidelity Bank, member FDIC. First class banking on a first name basis. Feel more confident and in control of your financial life. Ameriprise Advisors can work with you to provide personalized, goal-based advice based on your short and long-term goals. Plus, you can track your investments and financial solutions with our digital tools and regular meetings. Call John Pokup at 1-800-713-9160 to see the multiple ways they can help you on your retirement journey. Legacy Financial Partners, a private wealth advisory practice of Ameriprise Financial Services, LLC, is located at 218 South Monroe Street in Winter, South Dakota. Member FINRA and SIPC. Are you looking to steal a deal on your next vehicle? Whether you're looking for a car, truck, or SUV, shop from over 1,000 vehicles at MenholtAuto.com. 
Nenholt Auto Group is a proud supporter of the South Dakota State Baseball Tournament and would like to wish good luck to all participating players and teams. Have a great game and knock one out of the park. From Denny Menholt Rapid Chevrolet, Toyota, and Rushmore Honda. All three stores conveniently located off I-90 Exit 60, Rapid City. Shop local with Burke and Gregory Building Centers, your hometown hardware stores, specializing in everything from finding the right drill bit to building your dream home. The crew at Burke and Gregory Building Centers take pride in customer service and are always available to help with any project, big or small. They offer top-of-the-line flooring and cabinetry, a large inventory of rental items, quality Pittsburgh paint, and so much more. Follow them on Facebook and shop online anytime at bgbuildingcenter.com. Join the team and take on your legacy. Since 1862, the South Dakota Army National Guard has been ready to defend our freedom and our way of life. When our nation calls, we are there to help our friends, neighbors, and communities in the event of forest fires, floods, tornadoes, and severe winter storms right here in South Dakota. Now we want you to write the next chapter in our rich history of the South Dakota Army National Guard. Visit their Facebook and Instagram pages or nationalguard.com sd. Limestone canyons, flowing waterfalls, and pristine beauty make Spearfish a sanctuary for those seeking the ultimate escape. Outdoor enthusiasts will find top-notch sport climbing, mountain biking, and UTV OHV trails. Guests are steps away from peaceful hiking trails and tranquil streams. Relax and rehash your day's adventure at one of our award-winning local breweries. Finding rest is an important part of any adventure. Lodging in Spearfish comes with a variety of choices, from cabins, B&Bs, and campgrounds to the comforts of your popular brand-name hotels. To find your unique adventure in Spearfish, go to visitspearfish.com. Calm now. At Monument Health Orthopedics and Sports Medicine, we are here to help you make your comeback. Our team is standing by to diagnose and treat your injury with some of the most advanced treatment options available and same-day appointments. Monument Health practitioners work closely with our therapists and physicians in communities throughout the Black Hills with locations in Rapid City and Spearfish. Visit monument.health slash orthopedics for more information. That's monument.health slash orthopedics for more information. Now is the time to save at Grossenberg Implement on Hydraulic Cylinders. Do you have an older one that you've been fighting for a while or, continually, or continuously adding hydraulic oil to? Then stop in this week and save 8% on all hydraulic cylinders only at Grossenberg Implement. Not sure you want to tackle the job to replace it? Grossenberg can do that too. Stop in today and see how Grossenberg can help you. Grossenberg Implement, service to the ag community since 1937. This is Jason with Dakota Carpet Restoration. No job is too small or too big. Leaked water from frozen pipes, sump pump failures, or a flooded basement? We can help. If your house is underwater, no problem. Call us right away. Even if it's 3 in the morning, we'll take care of the water damage before mold sets in. Dakota Carpet Restoration, 481-8709. The clean you expect to the service you deserve. Eklund Tax Service, located at 323 Main Street in Gregory, South Dakota, is available for all your tax preparations. Mark Eklund has been a staple in the Gregory community for many years and wants to help you and your business have success by specializing in all types of bookkeeping. Eklund Tax can take care of any agricultural, retail, or personal bookkeeping or tax preparation. Call Mark at Eklund Tax today at 605-835-9665. Are you looking to steal a deal on your next vehicle? Whether you're looking for a car, truck, or SUV, shop from over 1,000 vehicles at menholtauto.com. Menholt Auto Group is a proud supporter of the South Dakota State Baseball Tournament and would like to wish good luck to all participating players and teams. Have a great game and knock one out of the park from Denny Menholt Rapid Chevrolet, Toyota, and Rushmore Honda. All three stores conveniently located off I-90 Exit 60, Rapid City. 
The Golden Buffalo Casino at Lower Brule is proud of our area youth for their competitive spirit and participation in the various high school activities. It takes dedication and commitment to be the best you can be. It's all about sportsmanship and not whether you win or lose, but how you play the game. The Golden Buffalo Casino is your winning destination for great food and more ways to win. More often, our youth, our future. We at the Golden Buffalo Casino say thanks for all you do. When we think American made, we think quality and craftsmanship. That's why at Badlands Distillery, all of our spirits are made in-house, one small batch at a time. We believe the best spirits start with the best ingredients, so we're proud that the Badlands Distillery lineup uses high quality, locally sourced ingredients. So the next time you enjoy the smooth taste of a Badlands Distillery spirit, you know you're drinking the best. Badlands Distillery, proudly American made. If you're hunting for a great deal on your next ride, get into Gateway Ford Lincoln Toyota in Pier. We're locked and loaded on all of our new and used inventory, like this 2018 Toyota Highlander, only $28,495. Looking for low price reliability? Try a 2011 Honda Accord for only $6,995. Who wants a loaded up truck? We have a 2014 Chevy Silverado 1500 LTZ for only $17,995. Get to Gateway Ford Lincoln Toyota in Pier, 518 East Sioux Avenue. Call 605-224-7378 and visit Gateway F. LT.com. We hope you are all enjoying the student productions of your school. Tonight's event and every event produced by your school during the school year are created, filmed, and produced by the students you love to follow and support. Become a booster of your school's live event coverage by becoming a sponsor. It's a great way to show your support of the athletes and students in your community. As a sponsor, you'll get great visibility for your business, organization, or family by supporting the live productions of your school. Harry K. Ford is your only dealer who does $29.95 oil changes every day. Yep, that includes all the oil for the vehicle. Those other guys don't do that. As a Venture Communications customer, you're ready for tomorrow. Where you live, the world's at your fingertips through a fast and reliable fiber optic internet connection. You can choose the RushNet broadband speed you want, all the way up to a gigabit. And your own team of technical experts are ready to help 24-7. Change your world with RushNet high-speed internet. Be ready for tomorrow. Get connected. Call Venture Communications today. Your local cooperative has a new name. CHS Northern Plains and CHS Midwest Cooperative have joined together to better serve you under the new name CHS River Plains. You gain more options and more value with access to global markets in a powerful supply chain. And you can do more every day using inputs delivered by a team who knows what you need, when you need it. Visit us online at chsriverplains.com or stop in today and let us help you own every day. Are you looking to steal a deal on your next vehicle? Whether you're looking for a car, truck, or SUV, shop from over 1,000 vehicles at menholeauto.com. Menhol Auto Group is a proud supporter of the South Dakota State Baseball Tournament and would like to wish good luck to all participating players and teams. Have a great game and knock one out of the park from Denny Menholt Rapid Chevrolet, Toyota, and Rushmore Honda. All three stores conveniently located off I-90 Exit 60, Rapid City. Dakota Wesleyan University running back, Luke Laudenberg, the short right-hander, finishing his warm-up. Still face a Cologne Chaos team that had pretty good batting averages. They'll lead off Shea Connett, their left fielder, followed by Jackson Kinzer. Second baseman, Ben Connett, the shortstop will bat third. Jake Luce will bat in the fourth spot. Terrence Kinzer will bat fifth. Ethan Bober will bat sixth. Dalton Baker bat seventh. Leighton Teeman, the catcher will bat eighth. And Braden Gardner will designate it hit and bat ninth. So Shea Conant, left-handed hitter, will lead off for the Cologne Chaos. Wow, green helmets with white side panels. That's kind of unique. Conant, a 327 hitter. Swing and a miss. And the bright orange bat misses a fastball in the outer half. Strike one from Luke Loudenberg. Loudenberg. Makes up for his short stature with speed and power. There's a dribbler back to the screen. Two quick strikes on Shea Connett. 
always look, Loudenberg gets mad at me. I always claim he claims he's five nine. I claim he's five seven and a half. Running back for Dakota Wesleyan University in their one back offense. Today asked to start this game. Throws pretty hard. Here's the two strike pitch. It's a fastball. It's going to be ripped into center field. It's the leadoff man on for the Cologne Chaos with a leadoff single. Setting the jam and country, starting defense for the Salem Cubs. Jacob Giles will be in left field, Cleveland in center. Duxbury in right, Cheeseman at third, Negabauer the shortstop, Rob Land at second, Tushin at first, Jacob Von Berg behind the dish today, and Luke Laudenberg with his two and three record on the mound. Jacob Jackson Kinzer, the batter, right-handed hitter in the back of the box, swing and a miss at a belt high fastball. Kinzer, a 388 hitter, the second baseman for the chaos. These two teams' reputations are, if they get on base, they're going to run, but a short lead for Conant at first. Breaking ball going to be lifted foul out of play down the right field line. Foul balls here, kind of unique. They're all special balls for the state tournament. And if you get one and take it to the concession stand, you get $2, which is good, or you can keep it. They have lots of ball sponsors, and you can keep those balls. So you could outfit a whole Little League team here if you wanted to come here and work hard. Two strikes again on Kinzer, as Loudenberg's got ahead of both the first two hitters, and there's going to be a fly ball into the right center field gap, and that's going to make it all the way out to the fence. Conant rounds third base. He's going to... He'll hold up there as they put on the stop sign. So a double for Jackson Kinzer. Conant holds up at third. And a threat here from the Cologne Chaos right away in the first inning. And manager Cheeseman is going to come out and talk to his pitcher. I happened to do the first game of the year. It was a Salem uh, Canova game in Salem. And Loudenberg started that game. Four consecutive fastballs to the backstop. So this is going a little better than that. He throws hard, but a little bit wild. But he's been getting ahead. These first two batters had them both 0 and 2. And then gives up a single and a double. And here's a batter, 410 batting average for Ben Connett, the shortstop. Jake Luce on deck for the chaos. They threaten here in the first. There's a fastball that misses away. Ball one. Cleveland in center field playing Conant as a pull hitter. He's shifted over to left or over to the left. 75 degrees at game time. The wind blowing towards right field at about 11 miles an hour. So the ball might carry to right. But who cares in Cadwell Park? It's 340 down the line. There's a breaking ball that misses outside. 340 down the lines, 374 to the power alleys, and a gargantuan 420 feet to center field. I need to talk somebody into moving these fences in 30 feet. There's a fastball on the inside corner. Now 3 and 1 to Ben Connett. First base is sitting there open. But who wants the bases loaded in the first inning? Fastball swing and a miss, and he strikes him out for out number one. Actually, that's strike two. Get all excited here. So a full count pitch on the way from Luke Loudenberg. Fastball is going to be fouled back to the concession stand area. I can stop all rumors this morning. They were cleaning the hamburger grill when I went by, so they do clean that thing. Contrary to rumors here, here's the 3-2 pitch again. Breaking ball is going to be fouled back to the concession stands. Luke Conant has wasted two good pitches here as Luke Loudenberg tries to work his way out of trouble. With runners on second and third, he's in the full windup. And there's a fastball high and inside, and he walks it. So the bases are full of chaos. And here's the cleanup man, Jake Luce, the first baseman, right-handed batter. Oh, his batting average, 4, 
29. Oh my. Cubs might be in trouble here in the first inning. First pitch to loose on the way. And it's a fastball low and inside. Ball one. Rob Lind wearing the white of the Wood Ducks, trying to hold the runner close to second base. Breaking ball swing and a miss. That one on the inner half of the plate. One ball, one strike. There, now I can see the scoreboard. Moved over a little bit. Here's the 1-1. One -one. Fastball going to be lifted straight up, and that might get to me, might not. Nope, but it's going to be short. As it falls down where the commissioner should be sitting, must be too early for them. There's only a couple of them down there. So a souvenir, and it should be one ball, two strikes, I believe. Loudenberg talks to his catcher, Jacob Von Berg, Von Berg, who brought the ball out to him. Interesting calling Salem games. You never know who's going to catch. Loudenberg catches some. Von Berg catches. And fastball is going to plunk him in the buttocks. And down to first base he goes with an RBI hit by pitch. As Shea Conant scores from third, move the other runners up one. Base is still loaded. Nobody out. And Salem's going to need to make a good play here to keep this from being a crooked number or even a big inning. And a fastball at the knees to Terrence Kinzer, the center fielder. 298 hitter, right-handed batter. Nice pitch right at the knees. And a fastball in the outer half is going to be fouled out of play. Last night I did the Coleman game, and I don't think the foul ball chasers made 10 bucks in the whole game. Maybe five foul balls. We've got about eight already in this game, so they they better get their gloves and tennis shoes on because they're going to make some money. Here's the two-strike pitch. Fastball high, swing and a miss. As Kinzer goes after a chin-high fastball for out number one. Ethan Vober, the right fielder, up next. 312 batting average for Ethan. Vober with a big full beard in the right-handed batter's box. Goes after the first pitch and in the air to Lynn, and it's going to be a double play. Yeah. Must have hopped right off the plate to him because he tags the runner and then throws to first to retire that runner. So one run is all they score. It could have been way worse. We'll see if Salem can answer in one minute. At Ashley Home Store, when we say we got it, we really mean it. We've got all the popular styles for every room in your home, as well as some of the highest quality and customer ratings in the industry. Not to mention, we've also got the top mattress brands like Sealy, Tempur-Pedic, and Ashley Sleep. And payroll deduction financing available so you can take time to pay. So come in today and see why your Pierre Ashley Home Store is the top choice for everything home. Hurry in. We're located on South Garfield Avenue in Pier. This is home. Right now is a great time to be planning for the next growing season. Fall fertilizer application can give your crops a strong start in the spring. Because the nutrients available and needed in each field vary, your Actegra agronomist can help determine your specific nutrient needs and the benefits of applying them now. To optimize your inputs for next year's crop, contact your Actegra agronomist for details or visit Actegra.com today. Harry K. Ford, your go-to dealer for transparency and the lowest prices. From sales to service, we pride ourselves on transparency and low prices. It's who we are every day. Family, friends, and Fords, in that order. And the lead off. The second baseman followed by Landon Negebauer. Cole Cheeseman will bat third. Kyle Tushin in the cleanup spot. Good to see Brian Duxbury 
back. Brian's missed games for work this year, but the second generation home run hitter will bat fifth. Steve Melbrack, the DH in the sixth spot. Jacob Giles in the seventh spot. Jacob Von Berg, Von Berg will bat eighth. And Tyler Cleveland in the ninth spot facing the right-hander Carter Brickman for the Cologne Chaos. Slender, tall slender right-hander, three and three record on the season. So Rob Land will lead off left-handed batting second baseman wearing the bright white uniforms of the Humboldt Hartford Wood Ducks. Wood Ducks and Gamecocks both eliminated that first Sunday of the district tournament, but they got a lot of players on these teams, and there's a fastball that misses, hits the outside corner. Got to slow down. I got a slow umpire here. Fastball going to be ripped to center field. Terrence Kinzer comes in, but he's going to have to play it on a hop, and it's going to be a leadoff single for Rob Lind. Lind went after that belt-high fastball and just ripped it into center field. Landon Negabauer, the batter, the shortstop. Salem Cubs, their batting averages are pretty pedestrian. Landon Negabauer, 238 batter from the right side. And a fastball misses inside, and that'll get away from Leighton Teeman and down to second base. Scampers Rob Lind on the pass ball. I want to rule out a pass ball. was in the glove and popped out. And Salem doing what they do, even though Rob Lind's a pickup player. You make a mistake, and Salem will take a base. That's their type of game. Fastball, that hits him in the lead elbow. And hit by pitch, he'll send Negabauer down to first. And this game's already living up to its promise. of We might have a wild one here. We'll <laughs> find out. These two teams, they live on the ragged edge, and they might show it here at Cadwell Park. Here's Cole Cheeseman, the third baseman. Cole, 321 hitter on the year. And he's going to get hit in the belt as he turns his back. And back-to-back -back hit batters. And Carter Brickman's showing a little bit of Cadwell Park fever here. And his teammates and coach are going to come on and talk to him. And this might be it. They're bringing the second baseman in. He called him in. So Carter Brickman's showing a little bit of nerves here. Hits back-to-back -back batters. And the bases are loaded of cubbies with nobody out. Cologne scored one run in the first inning. Bases loaded. That Loudenburg worked his way out of. These are young guys. They won the state high school tournament as, Col as Cologne winner. And they've stuck together since then. So these guys, they average age 20, 21, but this is their first time at state. And a fa high fastball lifted in the air to center field. Kinzer lost it, and he comes charging in. One run scores. Here comes a second run. Play at the plate, and the ball skips off the mound, and the catcher can't handle it. RB, two RBI single for Kyle Tushin as Lind scores and Negabauer scores. And Salem, 2-1 lead. Don't fall asleep in this ball game. There's action here in Cadwell Park. Cheeseman advances to third on the single. So runners at the corners, nobody out. So two hit batters and two hits lead to a 2-1 Salem lead. First pitch swing and ripped into left field. That's Brian Duxbury. And another run scores. Duxbury wasted no time. Tushin advances to second base. And the batter will be the designated hitter, Steve Melbrecht. Melbrecht, good left-hand hitting power with the breeze blowing out to right field. He's got a chance. Pickoff play to second. And a better throw, they'd have had him. Just about caught Kyle Tushin sleeping out there. The throw got into Tushin's legs, or they got him. And there's the bunt attempt by Melbrecht. That's fouled back. Salem will play small ball. They'll move runners along. It's not often you ask your designated hitter to bunt, but they asked Melbrecht to put one down there. Greg Cheeseman, the third base coach. Gives the signs. Here's the pitch. He squares to bunt again. It's same result. Fouled to the exact same place. 
Well, that's enough of that idea. Two strikes now on Steve Melbreck. Jacob Giles on deck. What's this Salem Cub team got? Speed, speed, speed. Giles, wait till you see him run. Oh, my. And it's a fastball, and that's going to get away from the catcher team and go back to the screen, and both base runners will move up on the wild pitch. Runners at second and third now. One ball, two strike count to Steve Melbreck. I always think of Melbreck as being a youngster, and I believe he's 30. So these guys are starting to get a little age. Line shot down the left field line. It's foul by about five feet. Count will stay at one ball, two strikes. 3-1. Salem leads. We're in the first inning. And Salem's got three runs across, two men in scoring position. Nobody out. Check swing, and it's going to be a ball at the letters, but just outside. Count even now, two balls, two strikes. Brickman from the full windup. Fastball is going to be fouled back to the crowd, and it stays two and two. Overcast, sunny day here, if that's possible. Overcast and bright. Fastball in the outer half that Melbreck sends out to the parking lot. Foul. Hopefully the mobile KGM Sports Studios are far enough away. 2-2. Two, two. Deliver again. Fastball misses away, and the count will go full. Teeman couldn't find the ball at first, the catcher, but it was laying right at his feet. And throws it back to Cole Carter Brickman. Brickman delivers a fastball. It's going to be ground ball to second base. Jackson Kinzer boots it off his glove, comes up throwing, and he'll get Melbrick, but a run will score. So an RBI ground out, 4-3 in the putout. Melbrick's the first out of the inning with four runs in. Here's Jacob Giles, left-handed hitting, usually right fielder pitcher for the Madison Bronco Bronx, playing left today for Salem and oh my does he have speed and he's going to try to suicide squeeze and I, good thing it wasn't a true suicide squeeze as Duxbury scampers back to third base he came about one third of the way and Giles missed the bunt attempt fastball way outside nice catch by Teeman count one and one Giles wearing the red jersey and silver pants of Madison Here's the 1-1 delivery, and he's going to lift a fly ball down the left field line. That's going to drift foul, and it'll be out of range of Shea Connick. And a long strike. One ball, two strikes. Lots of room in foul territory here at Cadwell Park. The seating section, very nice stands that go almost dugout to dugout with a brick face and a fully netted. So it's one of the safer places to watch baseball here. And then there's bleachers down the sidelines. Ground ball. It's going to hop to the shortstop. He makes a good stop, but he's not going to get the speedy Jacob Giles. And I'm going to think they're going to call that a hit. There's no chance there. Giles runs too well. So Duxbury scores the fifth run of the inning. And Giles now at first. How long will he stay there? Not very long. Here's Jacob Von Berg, the catcher, right-handed pitcher. There's a check throw over to first base. Giles back but dirty. Tyler Cleveland, the number nine hitter on deck for Salem with one out in the first. Fastball misses inside. And it's ball one to Jacob Von Berg, 250 hitter on the season. Plays catcher. I've seen him say play third. There goes Giles. The throw is going to go down, and they got him. Oh, my. Nice play by Coloma. As they throw out Jacob Giles, that's not easy to do. So two away for the Salem Cubs. Now that will clear the bases, and Von Berg will start over. Two balls that count to Jacob. Five runs in. It's 5-1. There's a fastball. Belt high outside half of the plate. Strike call. Now one ball, two strikes. Bumberg's going to have to protect. Fastball bounces right at the plate. I'm surprised that plate's really dirty, and the umpire hasn't cleaned it off. Usually they keep those the plate just perfect. 
2-2 pitch misses inside and the count goes full. 3-2. and two. two out, five runs in here in the first for Salem. Fastball going to be a slow roller that's going to be scooped up by Carter Brickman and he'll underhand toss over to loose and that'll end the inning. But Salem Cubs answer. Colombs one run with five of their own in this first inning. Five runs on four hits and they leave no one on base. 5-1, we'll be back in one minute. We've got a history of serving you. A history of family-owned community banking that goes back over 100 years. We grew up here. We're local. And local ownership means local decisions. It means our products are tailored to meet local needs. We take pride in our support of many local organizations and encourage community growth through charitable contributions and employee involvement. First Fidelity Bank, member FDIC. First class banking on a first name basis. Feel more confident and in control of your financial life. Ameriprise Advisors can work with you to provide personalized, goal-based advice based on your short and long-term goals. Plus, you can track your investments and financial solutions with our digital tools and regular meetings. Call John Pokup at 1-800-713-9160 to see the multiple ways they can help you on your retirement journey. Legacy Financial Partners, a private wealth advisory practice of Ameriprise Financial Services, LLC, is located at 218 South Monroe Street in Winter, South Dakota. Member FINRA and SIPC. Are you looking to steal a deal on your next vehicle? Whether you're looking for a car, truck, or SUV, shop from over 1,000 vehicles at MenholtAuto.com. Menholt Auto Group is a proud supporter of the South Dakota State Baseball Tournament and would like to wish good luck to all participating players and teams. Have a great game and knock one out of the park from Denny Menholt Rapid Chevrolet, Toyota, and Rushmore Honda. All three stores conveniently located off I-90 Exit 60, Rapid City. Loudenberg. Outfield playing normal depth, playing him slightly to pull. And here's the one ball pitch. Fastball going to be grounded slowly to third base. Cheeseman charges it and then has it come off his glove, and it's going to be an error on Cheeseman to start the inning. As Baker will reach. Ball hit really slow, so he charged it, and things fell apart from there. So but Baker, the leadoff man, is on. Like I said, don't fall asleep in this one. There's going to be guys on the bases. Leighton Teeman, the catcher, I believe this batting average, 091 for Teeman. Slender right-handed batter. Loudenberg now from the stretch. He sets at the chin and delivers. Breaking ball swing and a miss. Strike one. Boy, we had a light crowd at the start of the game, but they're really coming in now. Traffic was light on the interstate this morning. I must have beat the bikers coming down here yesterday. It was insane. There's the one strike delivery. And it's a breaking ball outside. Von Berg jumps up and bluffs a throw to first base. Baker wandering away from the bag a little bit over there. Von Berg drives him back. 1-1 one, one the count. Healthy lead for Baker at first. Check throw over there. Baker back safely. Had a dive. Loudenberg has a really good move to first. He's just quick. He's, he's one of those quick twitch guys. Five foot seven, plays third in the state in the 100 meter dash in high school. So you know he can really turn it over. Breaking ball swing and a miss. And Teeman is gone on three pitches. Out number one, here's the designated hitter, Braden Gardner. Big right-handed hitter. 273 batting average for Gardner. They call him Adonis. He looks a little bit like, he, he looks like he's well put together young man. If you get the nickname Adonis, you got something going for you. There's a breaking ball in the dirt, ball one. The outfield doesn't think he's Adonis. They haven't backed up an ounce. They're in the normal dead spots out there. The grass starts to get war where the outfielders stand. 
There's a fastball. Nice pitch inside corner, thigh high. And Gardner takes that to even the count at a ball and a strike. Loudenberg taking his time on the mound. Glances back at the runner. Now comes set. Snap throw over to first. And Baker back again. See, I don't know the inside of these teams. These teams, they call around. They find out scouting reports. Baker must be able to run a little bit. They're trying to hold him over there. Breaking ball going to be rolled slowly to third base, and that will go foul. One ball, two strikes. A little birdie just told me that Baker doesn't run very well. He likes a big lead, though. Trying to make up for his lack of speed by getting far away from first base. I've seen that before. Those guys usually get thrown out once in a while. Breaking ball. He reaches for it and lifts it to right field. Duxbury ranges over to his left and hands it for out number two. Here's Shea Conant, top of the order. Conant singled and scored the lone Cologne run. 5-1. Salem jumps out to the early lead. Cologne loaded the bases in the first inning, got one run across, and then Loudenberg got out of trouble. <laughs> I don't want to know all their nicknames. I already got too much to remember. Orange bat swing. It's going to be ripped into the gap in right center field. Cleveland hustles the ball in. They're going to hold him to a single, but advancing to third base is Baker. He didn't look he didn't look so slow there going to third base. First to third, that's respectable. Runners at the corners, two out. And I just got this feeling, this game, I think the first team to 15 is going to win. We'll see if I'm right on this one. Jackson Kinzer, the batter, he doubled in the first inning. Ended up stranded at third base. 388 batting average for Kinzer. And Loudenberg delivers. Fastball low. Nice stop by Von Berg. Ball one. Beautiful day here at Cadwell Park. If you've never been here before, today might be the day to come. It's supposed to get pretty warm today and tomorrow, and then a beautiful the rest of the week. But right now it's really nice out here. Fastball. Belt high, outer half, called a strike, one ball, one strike. Temperature up to 72, I believe. Here's the 1-1 one, one delivery, 73 degrees in Mitchell. Here's the pitch, that's low, 2-1 to count. Shea Connett, the runner at first, Dalton Baker at third, two out. For the Cologne Chaos. Loudenberg comes set. Fastball right down the middle. That's fouled back by Kinzer. And two balls, two strikes. Loudenberg has kind of had the count in his favor so far in this ball game. Here's the 2-2 pitch. Breaking ball going to be lifted in the air to center field. Cleveland has it measured, and he'll squeeze that, and that'll end the threat from the McClome chaos here in the second. 5-1 Salem leads. Thank you for listening to amateur baseball state tournament style on KJM. Shop local with Burke and Gregory Building Centers, your hometown hardware stores, specializing in everything from finding the right drill bit to building your dream home. The crew at Burke and Gregory Building Centers take pride in customer service and are always available to help with any project, big or small. They offer top-of-the-line flooring and cabinetry, a large inventory of rental items, quality Pittsburgh paint, and so much more. Follow them on Facebook and shop online anytime at bgbuildingcenter.com. 
Join the team and take on your legacy. Since 1862, the South Dakota Army National Guard has been ready to defend our freedom and our way of life. When our nation calls, we are there to help our friends, neighbors, and communities in the event of forest fires, floods, tornadoes, and severe winter storms right here in South Dakota. Now we want you to write the next chapter in our rich history of the South Dakota Army National Guard. Visit their Facebook and Instagram pages or nationalguard.com slash SD. Limestone. Burn it. That'll be 5.30. First pitch. That'll be on AM 1390. On Tuesday, the Del Rapids Mudcats play Why Not. That'll be also the first game on Tuesday night, 5.30. That'll be on AM 1390. And the winner of this game plays South Central. The winner of South Central, winner Cologne. That'll be Wednesday night, 7.30 game. If Salem can make that, we'll be here. And a bun attempt from Tyler Cleveland. What a beauty. They're going to try to make the throw, and uh, they had him, and the first baseman drops the ball. Would have had him by half a step. Air on the first baseman. Cleveland was surprised bunt, but Brickman came off the mound really well and fielded it. And then Luce couldn't hang on to the decent throw, and it's an error on the first baseman. So the leadoff man on for Salem. And Tyler Cleveland, what's he do? He runs. First pitch to Rob Lind. Fastball misses inside. Cleveland still at first base. Maybe Giles getting thrown out will slow Salem down a little bit. There's a fastball on the outer half called a strike thigh high, and it's one and one to Rob Lind. Lind. The pickup player from the Wood Ducks singled and scored Salem's first run in this ball game. Fastball misses away. Snap throw down from the catcher. And Cleveland back. Teeman looks like he likes to throw the ball around. And he's got a good arm behind the plate. Lind, the left-handed batter, throw over to first from Brickman. Cleveland back. When you play Salem, you got you got to do what you got to do to keep try to keep them from running. Fastball laced, lashed into the screen right by the third base dugout, and two balls, two strikes to Rob Lind with Negabauer on deck for the Salem Cubs. They lead 5-1. We're in the second inning. Swing and a miss, and Rob Lind's retired on a fastball in the outer half for out number one. Tyler Cleveland still at first base. Here's Landon Negabauer. Negabauer took one for the team in the first inning as he was hit by a pitch as Brickman hit two men in that first inning. The slender right-hander throws a fastball just high right down the middle, taken for a ball by Negabauer. Looks like we got a low strike zone today. There's a snap throw over. Oh, my, nice catch by Luce, the first baseman, as Brickman almost threw that away. Brickman, slender, tall right-hander, comes set, sets by the chin. There's an off-speed pitch on the inner half, taken for a strike. Negabauer likes to look at a lot of pitches. Comfortable with two strikes on him. Here's the 1-1 delivery. High, fly ball left field. Shea Conant moves about a step and has that for out number two. So after the frenzy of the first inning, the second inning's been a little bit calmer. Two away, Cole Cheeseman the batter. Cole took a fastball right in the middle of the back his first time up. He ended up scoring as the first five batters for Salem scored. Ground ball, first pitch swinging, it goes right up the middle for a single. Cleveland's gonna round second, he's digging for third. The center fielder overruns the ball but Cleveland will stay at third base. So a two out single for Cole Cheeseman and Tyler Cleveland flies over to third base. Runners at the corners now and here's the cleanup hitter, Kyle Tushin. Tushin with a two RBI single his first time up. Tushin only batted 217 during the season but those batting averages there's the first pitch swing fouled off the very end of the bat. It rolls to the on-deck circle. Those batting averages, when you get to Cadwell Park, they go away. They don't mean nothing. 
They start a new batting average when you get here. Runner goes from first. High fly ball center field. Kinzer started back. Now comes in. He'll squeeze that to end the inning. So a couple fly ball outs and the threat for the Salem Cubs. They still lead 5-1. We go to the third inning after these words from our good commercial sponsors. Canyons, flowing waterfalls, and pristine beauty make Spearfish a sanctuary for those seeking the ultimate escape. Outdoor enthusiasts will find top-notch sport climbing, mountain biking, and UTV OHV trails. Guests are steps away from peaceful hiking trails and tranquil streams. Relax and rehash your day's adventure at one of our award-winning local breweries. Finding rest is an important part of any adventure. Lodging in Spearfish comes with a variety of choices, from cabins, B&Bs, and campgrounds to the comforts of your popular brand-name hotels. To find your unique adventure in Spearfish, go to visitspearfish.com now. At Monument Health Orthopedics and Sports Medicine, we are here to help you make your comeback. Our team is standing by to diagnose and treat your injury with some of the most advanced treatment options available and same-day appointments. Monument Health practitioners work closely with our therapists and physicians in communities throughout the Black Hills with locations in Rapid City and Spearfish. Visit monument.health slash orthopedics for more information. That's monument.health slash orthopedics for more information. Back in the studio, engineering. It's 5-1. Salem leads. We go to the third inning, and Cologne will send up the heart of their batting order. It'll be the three, four, and five batters. Ben Connett to lead off. He walked his first time up, ended up stranded at second base. It'll be Connett, Luce, and Kinzer. Connett with a 4-10 batting average from the right side, working against Luke Loudenberg. And the short right-hander delivers a fastball inside, makes him move his feet. Ball one. Conant, good-looking athlete. Here's the one-ball pitch, and that's... One-one, that strike at the letter. Somebody just asked, what station are we on? We're on FM 103 KJM. Ground ball to second base. Lind over, picks it up, throws to first. And Tushin squeezes that for out number one. So with one away, it'll be Jake Lewis. Lewis took one for the team as Loudenberg hit one batter. So we've had three hit batters in the ball game already. And I've been, done a couple games this year where it kind of got intentional, but you're not going to see that here at State. So all three have been accidents. Lewis, a 429 hitter. Uh, he had an RBI hit by pitch. That's kind of rare. Line shot out to left. Giles comes running in. He has that for out number two. Good contact on that one, but right at Giles. And two away brings up Terrence. Kinzer, right-handed hitter, 298 average, went down swinging his first time up. And Loudenberg, who has kind of settled down. Actually, Loudenberg's been pretty steady the whole game. Thrown a lot of first pitch strikes and throws one right there to Terrence Kinzer. The good pitch, knee-high outside corner. Do that all day long. Same spot, swing and a miss. And it's a quick two strikes on Terrence Kinzer. Cologne Chaos out of the Pony Hills League. And there's going to be a two out single to right field as he lashes the ball to right. Right handed hitter pushed that ball out there. Fifth hit of the ball game for Cologne. Both teams with five hits now. And we're just starting the third inning. Two away. Here comes Ethan Vober, the right fielder. He ended that first inning by grounding out to second base, right-handed hitter. 312 batting average for Vober. Salem plays him to pull. First pitch swinging, hits it in the right center field, and that's going to be trouble. Duxbury dives. He can't get it. Center fielder Cleveland comes up with it. Colomb sending the run home, and it's going to be 5-2. to two. So an RBI double for Vober. As Kinzer scores all the way from first base. 5-2. to two. Now, this action happening with two outs in the inning. 
Loudenberg keeps throwing strikes. It's up to Colomb to hit him, I guess. Here's Dalton Baker, 414 average. He reached on an air and was stranded at third in the second inning. Right-handed hitter. Dangerous hitter with a man on second base. And there's a fastball low, ball one. Giles playing pretty deep in left field. Duxbury has backed up a little bit in right. Baker must have some power. Here's a one ball pitch. He hits it in the air. Lind backing up on the grass at second base. Wind pushes it back a little bit, but he squeezes that to end the inning. So Colomb gets a run. It's 5-2. Salem leads. You're listening to State Tournament Baseball on KJAM. Now is the time to save at Grossenberg Implement on Hydraulic Cylinders. Do you have an older one that you've been fighting for a while or continually or continuously adding hydraulic oil to? Then stop in this week and save 8% on all hydraulic cylinders only at Grossenberg Implement. Not sure you want to tackle the job to replace it? Grossenberg can do that too. Stop in today and see how Grossenberg can help you. Grossenberg Implement, service to the ag community since 1937. This is Jason with Dakota Carpet Restoration. No job is too small or too big. Leaked water from frozen pipes, sump pump failures, or a flooded basement? We can help. If your house is underwater, no problem. Call us right away. Even if it's 3 in the morning, we'll take care of the water damage before mold sets in. Dakota Carpet Restoration, 481-8709. The clean you expect, the service you deserve. After a chaotic first inning, this game has settled down a little bit. And it'll be 5-2 Salem leading off Brian Duxbury. Trying to find his dad's home run records. His dad, Roger Duxbury. I know he's in the top five in career home runs. And his son, Brian. Even though Roger was a left-handed hitter, Brian's a right-handed hitter. They have about the same power, Brian Duxbury. His work doesn't let him play as much as he'd like to, but he can really put a charge in the baseball. 249 average on the air, first pitch swinging. Terrence Kinzer, the center fielder, is going to have to run. And he runs far enough, he's going to squeeze it out there, I don't know, 380 feet, something like that. But in 420 feet center field, it's just a long fly ball out for Brian Duxbury on the first pitch. I'll have to dig some more in this gigantic program. I'll find Roger Duxbury's home run totals. Here's Steve Melbreck. Melbreck ground out with an RBI in the first inning. And he takes a fastball thigh high on the outer edge, strike one. Giles on deck for the Cubs. There's a high fastball to even the count at a ball and a strike. Brickman he throws somewhere maybe not quite as hard as I always consider a normal amateur pitcher throws about 82 miles an hour. The top ones, the ones we think are fast, throw in that 85, 86 range. And then there's a couple pitchers in the state that can they can hit 90. Brickman somewhere right at 80, 81. 2-2 two, two now to count to Steve Melbreck left-handed batter chopper it's going to get over Brickman's head no he jumps up and catches it and then a sidearm throw to first retires Melbreck for out number two Brickman nice fielding play I thought it was going to go over him but he got off that mound and ran that down Jacob Giles singled and then an oddity for Jacob Giles he got thrown out stealing in the first inning Left-handed hitter looks at a fastball away, ball one. Brickman, full windup and delivery. Got kind of a funky arm delivery. The elbow flies up, and then the arm comes through. It's kind of, it's got two movements to it. Fastball going to be lashed out to left field. Can Conant run it down? No, and it's going to bounce. And Giles digging for second, and he'll have a two-out double. And Salem threatening again here in the third. 5-2.
Colomb scored in the first inning, left the bases loaded, got one run. Salem answer with five. Colomb put a run on the board in the second. So in the, the way this game feels to me, Salem's going to want to score here. They got to keep pace. Jacob Von Berg, the batter, he chopped one back to the mound to end the first inning. So 0 for 1, the right-handed hitting catcher. And Brickman delivers. Fastball, that hits the plate. One ball. Von Berg must foul it off his lead leg. A rare right-handed batter with a leg protector on his front leg. Line shot in the left field. Can Giles score? He's going to try. And he doesn't even draw a throw. And Salem does answer that run. An RBI single for Jacob Von Berg. And Giles scores from second base. 6-2 now. So Salem answers the Cologne run. We're going to get a courtesy runner. And Jackson Sattler, a Salem pitcher. Salem pitcher will come in and run here. Sattler, good speed. He runs well. Of course, how many Salem players don't run well? Tyler Cleveland, the batter. Tyler reached on an air in the second inning, ended up stranded at third base. So Salem's had chances to even score more runs. Swing and a miss. He goes after a fastball that might have been off the plate. Strike one. Cleveland, 224 hitter on the season. Oh, man, they caught Sattler leaning the wrong way. He gets back, but the throw over there was close. Cleveland, one of those players that if he just hit a little better, he'd be awesome. Swing and a miss. He's got tools, just got to put that batting average up there. Strike two on Tyler Cleveland. Top of the order, Rob Lind, waiting patiently in the on-deck circle. There's a breaking ball that misses. Missed away Brickman with a little demonstration on the mound. He wanted that strike. One and two now the count. To Tyler Cleveland, big lead at first for Sattler. There's a breaking ball that misses. And they're going to call it. He kind of flinched at it, and they're going to call it a check swing strike. Oh, my. So Cleveland strikes out to end the inning. But the Salem Cubs, they score one run on two hits. 6-2. You're listening to Corn Belt League Baseball as we follow the teams through the state tournament on KJAM. Eklund Tax Service, located at 323 Main Street in Gregory, South Dakota, is available for all your tax preparations. Mark Eklund has been a staple in the Gregory community for many years and wants to help you and your business have success by specializing in all types of bookkeeping. Eklund Tax can take care of any agricultural, retail, or personal bookkeeping or tax preparation. Call Mark at Eklund Tax today at 605-835-9665. Are you looking to steal a deal on your next vehicle? Whether you're looking for a car, truck, or SUV, shop from over 1,000 vehicles at MenholtAuto.com. Menholt Auto Group is a proud supporter of the South Dakota State Baseball Tournament and would like to wish good luck to all participating players and teams. Have a great game and knock one out of the park from Denny Menholt Rapid Chevrolet, Toyota, and Rushmore Honda. All three stores conveniently located off I-90 Exit 60, Rapid City. Corn Belt League, I say it over and over, Corn Belt's known for their catchers and their center fielders. And that's kind of true all across the state. And there's a fastball low, ball one to Teeman. Teeman struck out first time up. Teeman has struggled hitting this year, 091 batting average. And here's the pitch. Fastball going to be fouled back to the screen and the count even at a ball and a strike. Crowd keeps coming in, nice crowd out here. Of course, there's four games. They have two first-round games today. And in the evening session, they start the second round of state tournament action. And there's a breaking ball. Nice pitch. Started at the batter and dropped across the plate. Don't see Loudenburg throw a lot of those sliders. 
but there's one right there, and again, he's ahead in the count. One ball, two strikes. Fastball swing and a miss, and Tiemann's retired for out number one. Brings up the designated hitter, Braden Gardner. Gardner flew out to right field. <laughs> Adonis. Uh, you're bound and determined to get that Adonis in there, aren't you? He is built. I'll give him that. I saw him in the parking lot earlier, and I go, oh, he's built. So you're not surprising me there. He was here. I was here early. He was a lot of Cologne. A lot of Cologne players were here really early. They're excited. He's, he's a parking lot Adonis. Okay. Uh, he just laced one into center field for a one-out single as he reaches out and strokes a fastball out to the outfield. And with one out, Gardner is on first base. By the way, Adonis, is he also fast? Really? He's that big and he runs well, too. He's got everything. Shea Conant, third time through the batting order for the chaos. What's Conant done? Two for two with that fancy orange bat for the left-handed hitting left fielder. And Loudenberg delivers a fastball. It goes over his head. Conant ducks and takes ball one. Could have taken one for the team there. It just would have hit him in the helmet. So one ball, Loudenberg trying to end this Cologne mini rally here. The runner at first base. Short lead over there for Gardner. Fastball away, and that's going to be foul back, and it hits the roof of the press box. One ball, one strike. Chased a ball that might have been out of the strike zone. I don't know if I've ever seen a Hunter Orange bat before. It definitely shows up. It looks wiffle ballish. Here's the 1 1 pitch. Fastball in the outer half. And that's going to be rolled slowly into right field as it gets in the gap between first and second. And a play at third to throw us offline, and Gardner slides in, and it'll put runners at the corners. Gardner showed a little speed there, goes first to third on a single. So Cologne with a threat here again in the fourth, runners at the corners with one out, and Jackson Kinzer will be the batter. Kinzer doubled in the first inning, flew out to center field in the second inning, so one for two in the ball game. 6-2, Salem leads, but I don't know if six runs is going to be enough to win this game. These teams look like they're going to score today. Loudenberg from the stretch, big lead at first, and first pitch swinging foul back into the screen. Kinzer, 388 batting average from the right side. Oh, my goodness, I just saw Al, the umpire caretaker, he ran. Al's got to be 80 years old, and he was running. Wow. I wish I could. One strike to count. Here's the pitch. Breaking ball misses away, and the count now one ball, one strike. Top of the batting order, pretty loaded for Kilom, at least batting average-wise. Got to be a little careful up here at the top. Here's the 1-1 pitch. And that's a fastball. It misses inside. Belt high. Two and one. Lundberg, he, he slows down when runners get on base. I guess that's natural. Runners at first and third here in the fourth inning. Breaking ball. Low. Three and one. And Luke Lundberg needs to throw a strike. Ben Conant on deck for the Cologne Chaos. Both teams dressed in green. Loudenberg comes set. The running back delivers a fastball. It's going to be lifted in the air. Rob Lynn says, that one's mine. And he squeezes it for out. Number. Oh, it bops out of his glove. They'll get the force at second, but a run's going to score on the air. Oh, my. He almost... <laughs> he almost... Uh, Nonchalanted that one into an air. So Gardner scores from third. Wow. They did get the runner. Shea Conant retired 4-6 on the putout. But they didn't need to score that run. 
Two away. Here's Ben Conant. Conant one, 0 for 1 with a walk in the ball game. Right-handed batter, 4-10 average, and he's going to chop one. It takes a skip off the edge of the grass. Cheeseman get handcuffed, then he throws the ball away. Oh, my. Sometimes you just got to hang on to that ball. A run's going to score. And an air on the throw. And all the way from first base, Jackson Kinzer scores. It, people ask me, how good is Salem? Well, they're pretty darn good if they don't throw the ball around. And there's an instance where, wow, hold that ball. It, 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 just hold that ball. Eat, eat the air. Don't give up the run. 6-4 now, the runner on second base as Connick goes to second base on the wild throw. And here's the cleanup hitter with his 429 average, Jake Luce. Luce 0 for 1 with a line out. Also was hit by a pitch. And there's a breaking ball. Nice pitch to start this at bat. One strike. Terrence Kinzer on deck. 6-4. Cologne with eight hits, Salem with seven. We're in the fourth. And Loudenberg looks back at the runner, now delivers an off-speed pitch, lifted up in the air in front of the mound, and he hangs on to that one for out number three as Loudenberg squeezes it. So two runs, I don't think either one of them had to score, so Salem being giving that inning. We'll be back in one minute. The Gola Buffalo Casino at Lower Brule is proud of our area youth for their competitive spirit and participation in the various high school activities. It takes dedication and commitment to be the best you can be. It's all about sportsmanship and not whether you win or lose, but how you play the game. The Gola Buffalo Casino is your winning destination for great food and more ways to win. More often, our youth, our future. We at the Gola Buffalo Casino say thanks for all you do. When we think American-made, we think quality and craftsmanship. That's why at Badlands Distillery, all of our spirits are made in-house, one small batch at a time. We believe the best spirits start with the best ingredients, so we're proud that the Badlands Distillery lineup uses high-quality, locally-sourced ingredients. So the next time you enjoy the smooth taste of a Badlands Distillery spirit, you know you're drinking the best. Badlands Distillery, proudly American-made. in the third. Salem answered right back. Now Cologne just scored two runs in the fourth. Can Salem answer back? Well, it'll be up to the top of the order. Rob Lind leading off. He'll be followed by Negabauer and then Cheeseman. Rob Lind, the pickup player from the Wood Ducks, one for two with a single and a run scored. Struck out swinging last time up. Left-handed hitter. Kind of weird though. Salem picked up two players. <clears throat> Ground ball to second base. First pitch swing. Jackson Kinzer up with it. And he realizes he's got to hustle that throw over there. And he gets Lind by a step for out number one. But both of their pickup players for the Salem Cubs bat left-handed. They added some left-handed batting for the tournament. Megabauer, the batter, 0 for 1, was hit by a pitch and scored and then flew out to center field. First pitch swinging, he fouls a fastball back over the press box, strike one. Negabauer, 238 batting average this season. Here's the one strike pitch, breaking ball. That stays high, one ball, one strike. Carter Brickman from the windup, 3-3 record on the season. Fastball hit high in the air, it'll stay in the infield. Shortstop Conant says, I'll get it. Comes in on the grass and squeezes that for out number two. So if Salem's going to do it here in the fourth inning, they're going to have to do it with two outs and Cole Cheeseman the batter. Cheeseman a single and been hit by a pitch and scored. So one for one in the ball game. Right-handed hitting third baseman. Goes after the first pitch and is going to flare that down the right field line, and it's foul by about six feet. Hit it where no one can hit him where they ain't, and no one would have got to that one, even if it had been fair. They wouldn't have got there, but it's foul for strike one. Tushin on deck, hoping Cheeseman can get him started here with two outs. 
Breaking ball high and away, and the count even now, ball on the strike. Crowd keeps coming in. Got a nice crowd on hand for Sunday noon baseball. Ground ball right back to Brickman. He catches that. Either he catches it or it hits him. So he decides to handle that hard smash and throws over to first base, and Cheeseman's retired. So three up, three down in the fourth for the Salem Cobbs. Six, four. We'll be back to Cadwell Park in Mitchell in one minute. If you're hunting for a great deal on your next ride, get into Gateway Ford Lincoln Toyota in Pier. We're locked and loaded on all of our new and used inventory, like this 2018 Toyota Highlander, only $28,495. Looking for low price reliability? Try a 2011 Honda Accord for only $6,995. Who wants a loaded up truck? We have a 2014 Chevy Silverado 1500 LTZ for only $17,995. Get to Gateway Ford Lincoln Toyota in Pier, 518 East Sioux Avenue. Call 605-224-7378 and visit Gateway F. LT.com. We hope you are all enjoying the student productions of your school. Tonight's event and every event produced by your school during the school year are created, filmed, and produced by the students you love to follow and support. Become a booster of your school's live event coverage by becoming a sponsor. It's a great way to show your support of the athletes and students in your community. As a sponsor, you'll get great visibility for your business, organization, or family by supporting the live productions of your school. They've been with us all season, and they follow us to the state tournament. You can thank them, too. Go in and say thank you for sponsoring amateur baseball on the radio. And you know how you really thank them? You do business with them. That's what it's all about. It'll be the heart of the order again for Cologne, Kinzer, Vober, and Baker here in the fifth. 6-4, Salem with the lead. First pitch swinging, fouled back off Von Berg, and that hurt. Owie, owie. There's two things. If we, when you have a young boy, there's two things you don't want him to be. A bullfighting cowboy or a bullfighting clown and a baseball catcher. Remember that. You moms to be out there. Bob Berg still trying to walk that one off. That one hurt. Strike one on Terrence Kinzer. Kinzer one for two, the center fielder. Right-handed hitter. Bats right just short of 300. 298 hitter on the season. And he looks at a breaking ball that starts right at him, throws him, and then cuts across the plate. Strike two. Where does Cologne get their bats? They got a hunter orange one, and this one's powder blue. They got pretty baseball bats. There's a fastball in the dirt. Loudenberg threw that one there. I think he threw it there on purpose, trying to get him to chase a bad pitch. Luke got in trouble in the first inning, got ahead of almost every batter. And then with two strikes on him, he'd throw a pitch they could still hit. So he's trying to change that pattern here waste a couple pitches trying to get him to chase something not so good breaking ball in the outer half is going to be lifted in the air to center cleveland comes in about five steps has that for out number one you know pitchers sometimes you just can't keep pumping strikes in there they'll they'll eventually they'll hit the heck out of you and that's kind of what Loudenberg did when he was in trouble in the first just keep pumping them strikes in there these guys can hit can't forget, the other team's got some skill. Here's Ethan Vober. Vober with an RBI double his last time up. One for two in the ball game. And he's going to try to bunt his way on. And Bumberg dives for the foul off the bunt and has it go just off his glove. Good hustle, Jacob Bumberg. One strike on Ethan Vober. Dalton Baker on deck. Vober, the right fielder. Ethan Vober, the manager of the Cologne Chaos. Probably dad. Here's a one-strike pitch. Breaking ball. That's going to bounce in the dirt. That'll go behind the umpire. <laughs> umpire tries to hand Von Berg a ball, and he runs back after the other one. You need to tell him, no, that's Al's ball. Al will get that. But Von Berg goes and gets it. One ball, one strike. Lauenberg from the windup. And the five foot eight right hander throws it behind the batter, Ethan Vober, and that goes back to the screen. 
That one just a bit inside. It <laughs> goes behind the batter, and it's two and one. Loudenberg delivers. Breaking ball misses away, and it's three and one. One out here in the fifth. Salem, 6-4 lead over the Cologne Chaos. The seventh Corn Belt League representative here. Corn Belt 2-4 so far in the tournament. It's kind of rare, and there's a fastball misses away. And a one-out walk to Ethan Vober. Dalton Baker will be the batter. Baker 0 for 2 in the ball game. Did reach on an air in the second. Popped up to the second baseman last time up. Baker with a 4-14 batting average from the right side. Baker advanced to third in the second inning. Ended up stranded there. Short lead at first for Vober. And squares to bunt. Looks at a fastball away. Ball one. Squared to bunt and then pulled the bat back. Colomb going to play some small ball here. In the fifth, we'll find out next pitch. Loudenberg waiting patiently in the stretch as Baker went for a little walk. Now back in the box. Runner goes. Throw is going to hop to land. And the throw's there in time, and he's out. It took a bounce, but still got there. Nice throw. From Von Berg, nice catch by Lind, the second baseman. And Vobers retired for out number two. Boy, Lind, tough to catch that bouncing throw. Bouncing throw with the runner sliding into you, and Lind handled it and got the tag on. Looked like the twin shortstop Simmons. That just slick handwork there by Rob Lind. Nice pickup, Salem Cubs. Two balls to count. The pitch was a ball. And there's a breaking ball away, and Luke Loudenberg has kind of lost the strike zone here. Now does a little dirt work on the mound, and it's, is it 2-0 or 3-0? I lose track of the count. I'm Swing and a miss at a bell tie fastball. And the scoreboard says 2-1. and one. I'll, I'll, I'll live with that. People expect me to keep a pitch count. I can't even hardly keep track of the ball and strike count. Fastball swing and a miss, and the teams are going to the dugout. That must be strike three. So no runs for Colomb in the fifth. It's six, four. We're halfway through this ball game, and that means there's another half of a game to enjoy here on KJAM. Harry K. Ford is your only dealer who does $29.95 oil changes every day. Yep, that includes all the oil for the vehicle. Those other guys don't do that. As a Venture Communications customer, you're ready for tomorrow. Where you live, the world's at your fingertips through a fast and reliable fiber optic internet connection. You can choose the RushNet broadband speed you want, all the way up to a gigabit. And your own team of technical experts are ready to help 24-7. Change your world with RushNet high-speed internet. Be ready for tomorrow. Get connected. Call Venture Communications today. Your local cooperative has a new name. CHS Northern Plains and CHS Midwest Cooperative have joined together to better serve you under the new name CHS River Plains. You gain more options and more value with access to global markets in a powerful supply chain. And you can do more every day using inputs delivered by a team who knows what you need, when you need it. Visit us online at chsriverplains.com or stop in today and let us help you own every day. Are you looking to steal a deal on your next vehicle? Whether you're looking for a car, truck, or SUV, shop from over 1,000 vehicles at menholeauto.com. Menhol Auto Group is a proud supporter of the South Dakota State Baseball Tournament and would like to wish good luck to all participating players and teams. Have a great game and knock one out of the park from Denny Menholt Rapid Chevrolet, Toyota, and Rushmore Honda. All three stores conveniently located off I-90 Exit 60, Rapid City. Cubs, and he goes after a fastball in the outer half and fouls that back into the screen, and it's two quick strikes. Cor 
Carter Brickman, the slender right-hander, delivers. Off-speed pitch. That skips between the wickets of the catcher. Teeman goes back to the screen. One ball, two strikes. Get Al something to do back there. Here's the one-two pitch. Breaking ball. Stays high, and it's two and two. Need get our scoreboard operator needs to watch the game. Two twos to count. And they call that a strike. Oh, my. At the knees, inside corner. And Tushin is retired for out number one. <laughs> Tushin goes back to the dugout, still shaking his head. He didn't think that pitch was anywhere near the plate. One out. Here's Duxbury. Duxbury one for two with a single and a run scored. He also had an RBI. The right-handed hitter looks at a fastball high, ball one. Looks at another fastball high, ball two. Duxbury, 249. Batting average from the right side. Open stance. He'll step at the pitcher. And there's a fastball. Low, ball three. So 3-0 three oh the count to Brian Duxbury. Melbreck on deck. There's an automatic strike as the fastball cuts the outside half of the plate. 3-1. and one. Wow, Brickman wants to pitch really fast. There's a fastball in the dirt. And Duxbury draws a one-out walk. Steve Melbreck, the batter. Melbreck, good power from the left side. Had an RBI ground out in the first inning and chopped one back to the mound in the third. So 0 for 2 in the ball game. Giles on deck with his red jersey on. Pickup player from Madison. There's a fastball. Nice pitch. Out, outer half at the knees. Melbreck takes that for ball, for strike one. Outfield playing straight away and shallow. Second strike. Same spot, same call. Two quick strikes on Steve Melbreck. Terrence Kinzer on center field. Could get woke up here. Swing and a miss. Goes after a letter high fastball. And Melbreck's retired for out number two. Brickman with four strikeouts now in the ball game. And Jacob Giles, the batter. Nice pickup player. What's he done? He's two for two, a single and a double. Also has an RBI. And he looks at a fastball that cuts that inner, inner half of the plate. Belt high for strike one. Left-handed batter, 259 batting average. Swing and a miss at a letter high fastball. And it's 0-2, the count to Jacob Giles. Von Berg in the on-deck circle. He's still got the shin guards on. And it's going to be a fly ball to shallow center field. Kinzer took one step back and squeezes it for out number three. So Salem gets base runner, fails to score. We're going to go to the sixth inning. Salem Cubs six, Cologne Chaos four. At Ashley Home Store, when we say we got it, we really mean it. We've got all the popular styles for every room in your home, as well as some of the highest quality and customer ratings in the industry. Not to mention, we've also got the top mattress brands like Sealy, Tempur-Pedic, and Ashley Sleep. And payroll deduction financing available so you can take time to pay. So come in today and see why your Pierre Ashley Home Store is the top choice for everything home. Hurry in. We're located on South Garfield Avenue in Pierre. This is home. Right now is a great time to be planning for the next growing season. Fall fertilizer application can give your crops a strong start in the spring. Because the nutrients available and needed in each field vary, your Actegra agronomist can help determine your specific nutrient needs and the benefits of applying them now. To optimize your inputs for next year's crop, contact your Actegra agronomist for details or visit actegra.com today. Feel the humidity coming in. Dew point is up to 68 degrees, 78 percent humidity, and I'm too big for this stuff. This humidity can go go away. Six four. It'll be the bottom two in the order, and then Connick for Colm Chaos. And here's that Hunter Orange bat again of Leighton Teeman. Teeman, the 
the tall right-handed hitting catcher, has struck out swinging twice today. And Luke Lundberg starting his sixth inning of work. Throws a fastball that misses inside. Teeman flashed a bunt and then pulled it back. Takes ball one. Lautenberg, the full windup and the delivery. Swing and a miss. Belt high fastball. Lautenberg has struck out four batters through this ball game. The right-hander delivers a bunt attempt, and they're going to call that a, a swing. Strike two. One ball, one strike. Tried to bunt a breaking ball that was off the plate. And couldn't get the, didn't have a long enough bat to get that one. It's a strike. Here's the one two pitch. Fastball high and tight. Count even now, two balls, two strikes. Outfield playing team in shallow. And to pull. Here's the pitch. Breaking ball in the dirt. And the count will go full. So an action pitch coming up to Leighton Teeman here in the sixth inning. Leading off for the Cologne Chaos. 6-4. Salem with the lead. Loudenberg wants to take care of Teeman right here himself. Here's the pitch. Fastball swing and a miss. And Loudenberg does it for strikeout number five. And here comes Adonis. The designated hitter, Braden Gardner. Besides having a cool nickname he's one for two in the ball game singled and scored in the fourth flew out to right field in the second so one for two in the ball game the right-handed big man batten and he takes a breaking ball strike one big man batten for a little guy pitch it luke loudenberg delivers of course, Loudenberg was a champion wrestler in high school, many-time champion wrestler. Always amazed me, three-time champion. He'd wrestle at 140, 135, and then play football 180. Wow, he cut weight. And to him, that's just part of the game. He is super dedicated. Fastball in the dirt. Two balls and a strike to Gardner. Yeah, he's got serious, serious guns. When you run the ball 40 times a game, Last year, he missed most of the season injured for football, but when you run the ball 40 times a game, you better be tough. Here's a 2-1 delivery from Loudenberg. Breaking ball, swing, and fouled back. That's one of those fouls. You don't know how it happens. It fouled straight back and didn't hit the catcher or the umpire. It just magically went through their legs. 2-2 two, two, the count. Shea Conant, top of the order on deck for the Chaos here in the sixth. Chaos scored one in the first, one in the third, two in the fourth. Eight hits in the ball game. Breaking ball, making Jacob Von Berg work a little bit. Gets away from him, goes back to the screen, and the count's full. Salem was six hits, or six runs on seven hits. And each team has committed an error, but I think Salem's error might have been worse than Colomb's error as it led to two runs. Here's the 3-2 pitch. Fastball going to be rolled to second base. Oh, Lind has it skip off that grass cut and gets by it. It gained speed as it hit the edge of the grass. Lind, it looked like he had that covered, but it's going to be the second hit of the ball game for Braden Gardner. And with one out, Gardner, who proved he can run pretty well, is at first base. And Shea Conant, three for three, Shea Conant is the batter. Three singles in the ball game. So the leadoff man, yeah, he's getting it done. There's that Hunter Orange bat, left-handed hitter. One out here in the sixth. Throw over Gardner back, but dirty as he had to dive back. crowd pretty calm right now they're used there was a lot of action early in this ball game now it's kind of settled down here there's a fastball just misses low the batter Conant goes for a little walk one ball to Shea Conant Jackson Kinzer 
on deck for this young Cologne Chaos team. Loudenberg from the stretch now delivers a fastball way outside, swing and a miss. As Conant chases a pitch a couple feet off the plate. One ball, one strike. I think Conant swung at the pitching motion there without even really knowing where the ball was at. Wow, Loudenberg has slowed down. Here's the 1-1 one -one delivery. Off-speed pitch. Catches the top of the zone. 1-2, and two, and now Conant goes for a walk again. He's mumbling to the umpire as he comes back. One ball, two strikes. A pitcher's count for Luke Loudenberg. And the, the short right-hander delivers. Fastball high and tight. He ducks under it. And the count even, two balls, two strikes. Duxbury playing deep out in right field. The other two outfielders in normal position. For the 2-2 pitch from Luke Loudenberg. There it is. And it's going to be ripped down the third ba first baseline, but foul. So he got the hip opened up and turned on that off-speed pitch. And he yanks it foul, and the count will stay 2-2. Two two. Jay Conant, 327. Batting average for the season, 3-for-3 three three in this ball game. Left-handed hitter. With chaos left fielder. Loudenberg glares in, finally nods to Van Berg's sign. And it's a fastball in under the hand, swing and a miss. Nice pitch to get rid of Shea Conant. First time he hasn't had a hit in the ball game. And with two out, here comes Jackson Kinzer with his 388 batting average. Kinzer one for three, a double in the first, flew out to center, and then reached on an air and scored in the fourth. Salem five runs in the first to grab an early lead. They added a run in a third to total six, 6-4. Six Salem leads, two out in the sixth inning. And Loudenberg delivers. Fastball, that's low, ball one. Base runner Gardner bluffed going to second base. Might have been a good pitch to go on. Von Berg had to dig that fastball out of the dirt. Still short lead at first base. And the one ball pitch. Going to be on the ground to Cheeseman. Cheeseman going to make the long throw to first, and it's in time to end the inning. 5-3 on the putout. We go to the bottom of the sixth inning. The Salem Cubs will bring up Von Berg, Cleveland, and Lind when we come back in one minute. Harry K. Ford, your go-to dealer for transparency and the lowest prices. From sales to service, we pride ourselves on transparency and low prices. It's who we are every day. Family, friends, and Fords, in that order. We've got a history of serving you. A history of family-owned community banking that goes back over 100 years. We grew up here. We're local. And local ownership means local decisions. It means our products are tailored to meet local needs. We take pride in our support of many local organizations and encourage community growth through charitable contributions and employee involvement. First Fidelity Bank, member FDIC. First class banking on a first name basis. leads as they come to bat in the sixth inning. Got to finish calling bingo first. Always activities going on here at Cadwell Park. I predicted the first team to 15 would win and right now this game has kind of settled down. We sit at six and four. I still might be right though. It might take 15 to win this. These offenses can explode. Here's Jacob Von Berg, the catcher. Von Berg had an RBI single in the third inning. Bounced one back to the mound, so one for two in the ball game. Right-handed hitter goes after the first pitch and hits that down the third baseline. That's going to go foul. Wow, side spin on that ball as it hit about six inches foul, and then it skipped to the third base coach. So it went straight sideways 
on the spin. Von Berg, a 250 hitter on the season. The Von Berg, Cleveland, and Rob Lind. And there's a fastball. Misses inside. It was a good pitch, good take by Jacob Von Berg. One ball, one strike. Outfield playing shallow. They're kind of sneaking in. Another fastball misses inside. They're trying to work Von Berg inside. Wow, the, in, the outfield sneaking in. And there's a fastball. This one catches the inside corner. Boy, they're living on that inside corner with Jacob Von Berg. Two balls, two strikes now. He's going to have to protect the plate as the count goes in the pitcher's favor. There's the pitch to the outside. Inside, 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 and then all of a sudden here comes the breaking ball. About a foot off the plate, and the count is full. Look out, Al's on the field. That's why he wears a helmet. There's a breaking ball ripped down the third baseline. It bounces a foot out of, outside the third base bag. And the count will stay at three and two. Giles warming up in the bullpen. He comes out and fields the foul ball. So Salem is warming up a pitcher. There's another one ripped down that line. Giles will have to go get that one too. Giles a left-handed pitcher and Salem's warming him up here in the sixth inning. We'll see if Loudenberg's day is done. Brickman delivers. Fastball, this one on the fly, and Baker, the third baseman, snares it for out number one. Von Berg put the lumber to that one, but it's a line out for out number one. Kept ripping him down that line, and finally hits it right to the third baseman. Tyler Cleveland, the batter. Cleveland reached on an air in the second, ended up stranded at third base, struck out swinging last time up. So 0 for 2, and he's going to try to bunt his way on. Good bunt, not quite far enough, though, as it was only about four feet in front of the catcher, and Tiemann pops out there and throws him out. Didn't quite roll far enough. So 2-3 on the bunt put out. Too close to Teeman went fielded it and gets him by a step with a nice throw. He even threw the throw on the infield side of the bag so the first baseman didn't have to mess with the runner. Nice play. Rob Lynn, the batter. Rob, one for three. He goes after the first pitch and fouls that out of play. Strike one. Lynn doing a nice job at second base for Salem here. And there's a fastball that touches that outside corner belt high. Strike two call. So Rob Lynn going to have to protect with two out here in the six. 6-4. Six, Salem with the lead. There's a fastball high. Two and one. So we'll see if Giles comes in. Probably Madison's best pitcher. And you knew Salem was going to throw him sometime in the tournament. He might appear next inning. Fastball misses away. Two balls, two strikes. Ground ball up the middle, and that's going to find outfield grass. A two-out single for Rob Lynn. They still throw over there. Second baseman ranged way out in the grass and came up with that and tried to throw. Not recommended. Lind, Lind with his second hit of the ball game. He is at first with Landon Negabauer, the batter. Landon 0 for 2. Fly out, pop out, and he got hit by a pitch and the left behind and ended up scoring after that. The Salem shortstop. Goes after the first pitch and hits it on the fly past Baker, the third baseman. That goes into left field, but it, the play's happening in front of Lynn. He'll have to stay at second base. So a little station to station baseball here, but back to back singles with two outs have Salem with a little bit of a threat going in the sixth inning and Cole Cheeseman will be the batter. The Salem third baseman's one for two in the ball game. A single in the second. Chopped one back to the mound last time up in the fourth. He also was hit in the belt with a pitch in this game. Goes after the first pitch and grounds it past the first baseman lose. This will bring in a run as Lind is digging for the plate. The throw is gonna be in time, but Lind slides under the tag. And they call him out as they are going to get an excavator and do a little investigating at the plate there. Did he get to the plate? And they rule him out at the plate. So Volber 
throws out Lind at home to end the inning. Craig Cheeseman wants to discuss what was the hesitation there. Lind is saying he got to the plate, but I'll guarantee you the call's not going to change. He's out. And we'll go to the studio and be back in one minute. Kinsley Funeral Home. Feel more confident and in control of your financial life. Ameriprise Advisors can work with you to provide personalized, goal-based advice based on your short and long-term goals. Plus, you can track your investments and financial solutions with our digital tools and regular meetings. Call John Pokup at 1-800-713-9160 to see the multiple ways I can help you on your retirement journey. Legacy Financial Partners, a private wealth advisory practice of Ameriprise Financial Services, LLC, is located at 218 South Monroe Street in Winter, South Dakota. Member FINRA and SIPC. Are you looking to steal a deal on your next vehicle? Whether you're looking for a car, truck, or SUV, shop from over 1,000 vehicles at menholtauto.com. Menholt Auto Group is a proud supporter of the South Dakota State Baseball Tournament and would like to wish good luck to all participating players and teams. Have a great game and knock one out of the park from Denny Menholt Rapid Chevrolet, Toyota, and Rushmore Honda. All three stores conveniently located off I-90 Exit 60, Rapid City. Well, we're simulcasting on live tickets, so I watched the replay of that play at the plate, and my first instincts are correct. He was safe, but the umpire's always right, and doggone it, 6-4, and on the mound yet, Luke Loudenberg, Giles is warmed up and ready to go out in left field, but Loudenberg to start the inning against the heart of the order, Ben Connett, Jake Luce, and Terrence Kinzer here in the seventh, 6-4. Salem leads. There's a weak swing at a breaking ball from Ben Connett. Connett, 0 for 2, reached on an air, walked, and a ground out for the number three hitter. Breaking ball is going to miss away, and it's one ball, one strike to Connett. 4 10 hitter from the right side during the season. And here's the pitch. Fastball misses inside, and it's 2 and 1. With live ticket TV here, they could replay if we ever get that far in the rules. Replay, so the hand going under the tag. But, doggone it. That's the way it goes. 2-1 pitch from Loudenberg. And that misses, a, no, it catches the outside corner. It was close. 2-2. Two -two. Jake Luce on deck. For the Cologne Chaos, the young team who have played their way through te Teener, Legion, and high school ball. It's only their third year in amateur ball. First trip to the state tournament. Big day for them. And who do you draw? A team kind of just like you. So 6-4, 2-2 the count to Ben Connor. And Loudenberg delivers. Fastball going to be ripped into right field. There's a leadoff single for Ben Conant, his first hit of the ball game. And Colomb got some action going here in the seventh. Cleanup man, Jake Luce, the batter. Jake with an RBI hit by pitch. 0 for 2. Pop up to the pitcher and lined out to right field. 429 average dangerous batter here for Luke Loudenberg. Loudenberg back to the stretch now. And the right-hander delivers. Fastball low, and that's going to skip through Von Berg's legs and back to the screen. And that's one of those. I don't know if that's a wild pitch or a pass ball. It's a combination of both. And to second base goes Ben Connett. So in scoring position now with nobody out. Terrence Kinzer on deck for Cologne. Loudenberg delivers a fastball. It's hit high in the air to short right field. And Duxbury makes a sliding catch. As he slid, Lind was going out. So Duxbury slid to make sure Lind didn't ram into him. And makes the catch on his behind for out number one. Duxbury, not known for his defense. That's a nice play. Terrence Kinzer will be up. Kinzer one for three. 
right-handed batting center fielder. Flew out to center field last time up. Singled and scored in the third. One away, runner at second base. Salem up by two. Cologne threatening here in the seventh. First pitch swinging, lifts it in the air to Cleveland in center. Cleveland drifts to his left. The runner bluffs going from second base. He'll go back, and there's two away. So Loudenberg induces two fly ball outs here, and Ethan Volber will be the batter. Volber reached on an air in the fifth and then was thrown out trying to steal Von Berg with a strike that Lynn made a fancy tag on. Volber did double in the third inning, so he's one for three in the ball game, the right-handed hitting right fielder. And Lounberg looks at the runner, now delivers. There's a breaking ball, and that's close. So close, the umpire says strike. Breeze blowing towards right field about 11 miles an hour. On this muggy August afternoon here at the South Dakota State Amateur Tournament. Fastball misses low and away. B tournament is going to be here in Cadwell Park for the next two years after this one. The A tournament this year, the first part of the tournament's in Brookings. They show up here in Mitchell next weekend. Two balls to count to Vober. And he misses away again. Now 3-0. and Loudberg being careful with Vober. Dalton Baker on deck. So look for the old automatic here right down the middle. Let's see if he can get it there. 3-0 delivery. And gets a strike. Belt high, outside corner. That one was, it was on the corner. That wasn't the old automatic right down the middle. He needed a call on that one, got it, three and one. We're in the bottom of, bottom of the seventh. No, top of the seventh. Chopper, two Cheeseman at third. Cheeseman skipping a throw, and then that throw is airmailed over the first baseman head. A run will score, and Volber. Takes a big turn at second. First baseman Tushin gets the ball back to third base. But an air brings in a run. And we're now at six Four to five. Baseman, and Volber ends up on second base. Wow, that throw about 10 feet over Tushin's head. Luckily, it stayed in the ballpark. Actually, the same result. He would have ended up at second base anyhow, but wow, that throw was airmailed. So 6-5, Salem's lead cut to one, and Baker the batter. And there's a nice pitch, breaking ball, outside corner, strike one. Baker, 0 for 3 in the ballgame, did reach on an air. Also popped one up to Lind at second and struck out swinging. 4-14 batting average on the season for the right-handed hitter. Loudenberg looks at the runner, big lead, and he's going to take one in the behind and go down to set first base. So both teams now have hit two batters. For the chaos, the catcher, Layton, Runners at first and second, two out, and here's Leighton Teeman, and he has struggled today. Three strikeouts for Leighton Teeman. And here comes manager Cheeseman. Going to talk to Loudenberg. You want to go, go remind him that this guy struck out three times. As, is it a gaggle of Cubs or a flock of Cubs or a bundle of Cubs? They're all on the mound. That's all I know. I, I think it is a den of Cubs. I looked this up last year just so I could be seem smarter than I really am, and I forgot it now. Oh. The only one I can remember is it's a flock of wood ducks. But... I think it is a den of Cubs. And Loudenberg's going to continue. Watch this. Team in 091 average. Three strikeouts already in the ballgame. Watch him come through with a big clutch hit here. There's always that danger. 
And Lauenberg delivers, and it's a fastball lifted into short center field, and that's going to bloop into the grass, and we're tied up as the run's going to score. Oh, my, just what I talked about. Watch something happen, and it did as Teeman with an RBI single. And Volber scores from second base, and we're tied up at six. Baker advances to second, so still two men on, courtesy runner. At 27, I believe, is Joey Cole, a Legion player. At number nine is a pickup player, Ryan Solar. Oh, pinch hitter. Ryan Solar is going to take the DH spot. Ryan Solar, right handed hitter, bright orange jersey, white pants. And he looks at a fastball at the knee, strike one. Solar from Miller Wessington, 340 batting average, and the longest hair I've ever seen in a baseball player in South Dakota amateur baseball. It's just down to his belt in the back. Wow. Ryan Solar, the new DH, has a strike on him. Tied up, two men on. Courtesy runner at first. There's a breaking ball, misses away. One ball, one strike. Solar for Miller Wessington. Pickup player. Ask for time. Courtesy runner at first base for Cologne, number 27, Joey Cole. So two men on, two out, one run, two runs in in the inning. We're tied up at six. Cologne with 11 hits. Salem with 10 hits. Salem's committed two errors. And fastball going to be fouled back to the screen. And it's a pitcher's count for Loudenburg now. One ball, two strikes. Solar out of the box, now back in. Loudenburg, he's patient anyhow, but patiently waiting for Solar. Now goes through his signs and comes set. And delivers. Breaking ball, misses away. Close pitch, good take by Solar. Two balls, two strikes. And the Salem crowd, and there's a lot of them here, they wanted that pitch called a strike. Two, two the count. Luke Laudenberg wants to take care of Solar right here on this pitch. Come set. The small right-hander delivers a breaking ball. It's going to miss away, and the count goes full. So an action pitch here, two out, three-two count. Two men on. Danger, danger, danger right here for Luke Loudenberg. He comes set. Here's the 3-2 pitch. Fastball swing and foul back and not hung on to by Von Berg. We'll do it again. Noticed one thing there that the courtesy runner, Joey Cole at first, oh my, can he run? So lots of speed at first, and the Legion player doing, and 3-2 count, two out, the runners get to leave, here's the pitch, chopper, fastball chop to the third base coaching box, we'll do it again, good, get them runners tired, they got to go back to their bases, they, they each had made it to the next base already. So a full count to pinch hitter Ryan Solar. Ryan, no gloves. Orange jersey, orange socks. He is bright. Swing and a miss. A breaking ball gets by him for out number three. But the Cologne Chaos score two and tie it up here in the seventh. Seventh inning stretch. And I'm not going to sing the song again. We'll be back in one minute. Shop local with Burke and Gregory Building Centers, your hometown hardware stores, specializing in everything from finding the right drill bit to building your dream home. The crew at Burke and Gregory Building Centers take pride in customer service and are always available to help with any project, big or small. They offer top-of-the-line flooring and cabinetry, a large inventory of rental items, quality Pittsburgh paint, and so much more. 
Follow them on Facebook and shop online anytime at bgbillingcenter.com. Join the team and take on your legacy. Since 1862, the South Dakota Army National Guard has been ready to defend our freedom and our way of life. When our nation calls, we are there to help our friends, neighbors, and communities in the event of forest fires, floods, tornadoes, and severe winter storms right here in South Dakota. Now we want you to write the next chapter in our rich history of the South Dakota Army National Guard. Visit their Facebook and Instagram pages or nationalguard.com sd. has been a handful. Thank you for joining us on this Sunday morning, Sunday afternoon. First of four games today at Cadwell Park, the only one on KJAM today. We'll be back on tomorrow night, Flandreau and Mount Vernon on AM 1390, 530. First pitch in that second round game. It'll be Tushin, Duxbury, and Melbreck batting here in the seventh in this tie ball game. And there's a fastball inside corner. Strike one called to Kyle Tushin. Tushin one for three. Struck out looking last time up. Two RBI single in the first inning. And he's going to rip a single into left field as it's going to bounce out to Shea Conant. And the leadoff man is on with Kyle Tushin's second hit of the ball game. Brian Duxbury the batter. Duxbury oh, one for two. A RBI single and a run scored and a walk. One time he made contact, flew out to right or flew out to center field. Right-handed hitter with great power, and he takes a fastball low. Ball one. Following Duxbury will be Steve Melbreck, the DH. He's in the on deck circle. Bottom of the seventh in this tie ball game. Last year when Salem won their two games here at state. Both were comeback wins. Will they have to do it again? I hope not. We're tied up right now, 6-6. Fastball misses inside. Now 3-0. and oh. I've never seen an umpire signal with the outside two fingers and the index finger. That's kind of weird how he does three. There's a fastball. He flinches at it, takes one right down the middle, 3-1. and one. I see something new every day. Getting to be an old guy, and I still see new stuff. Swing and a miss. Fastball under the hands. It's going to get away from Teeman. And down to second base, scampers leisurely. If you can scamper leisurely, Kyle Tushin. Now in scoring position with nobody out. Two balls, two strikes. And what are... And we're going to have a pinch runner... As in comes Sattler. So Jackson Sattler is going to come in and run for Tushin. So a change as they get more speed on the bases. Sattler comes in to run. And Duxbury fouls a fastball back. Sattler sometimes plays right field. He's the Canova. He's the pitcher Canova doesn't like to face as he beat Canova during this season. And he's going to be in the ball game now as he comes into pinch run. Duxbury fouls another fastball back to the screen. Nobody out here. Salem got a man on second base in this tie ball game. And Duxbury wants to at least move him to third base somehow. Spin move. They're going to throw to second base. Sattler back easily. Pitcher trying to catch Sattler napping back there. 2-2, two, two, we'll do it again. There's the pitch. Fastball hit high in the air, and I think it might be on my head. Ooh, one row in front of me. Boy, that ricocheted hard, and everybody's okay. There is danger here. <laughs> Got to stay awake. Duxbury has fouled off four straight pitches. Two and two the count. And he fouls off another one. This one's going to hit the top of the press box. No, it bounces in front. Duxbury hanging tough. Five straight foul balls. Two and two the count.
Sattler, the runner at second. Big lead. Second baseman standing next to the bag. Oh, my. He put a charge into one to left field, and it is gone. Keep turning left, Brian Duxbury. You got three more bases to touch. Two run, home run. Didn't need no pinch runner there. I talked about Duxbury's power. It is legitimate. Oh my, he hits it out of Cadwell Park. And Salem retakes the lead. You got to see this ballpark to appreciate that home run. With the wind blowing to right, he fought the wind and hit it out, I don't know, 385 feet, somewhere in that neighborhood as Duxbury yanks it out of Cadwell Park. I bet Dad's proud. I keep saying I'm going to look up that home run record, and I'm going to. I should have my assistant here look it up. Hey, assistant. Look up Roger Duxbury's home run record. That's his dad. He's, he's in the top five all time. I know he is. He just yanked it out of Cadwell. And I, we might have a pitching change as Volber looks like he's interested in starting pitching as he comes in from right field. We'll get an indication here. 8-6. Excitement here at Cadwell Park. Two-run home run in the bottom of the seventh inning. It was already the seventh inning stretch. That got the crowd up. There was no doubt on that home run. And it looks like, yep, we're going to have a pitching change. We'll send it back to Everyday Joe in the studio and return here to Cadwell Park. With Salem leading, we'll be back in a minute. Limestone Canyon's flowing waterfalls and pristine beauty make Spearfish a sanctuary for those seeking the ultimate escape. Outdoor enthusiasts will find top-notch sport climbing, mountain biking, and UTV OHV trails. Guests are steps away from peaceful hiking trails and tranquil streams. Relax and rehash your day's adventure at one of our award-winning local breweries. Finding rest is an important part of any adventure. Lodging in Spearfish comes with a variety of choices, from cabins, B&Bs, and campgrounds to the comforts of your popular brand-name hotels. To find your unique adventure, and Spearfish, go to visitspearfish.com now. At Monument Health Orthopedics and Sports Medicine, we are here to help you make your comeback. Our team is standing by to diagnose and treat your injury with some of the most advanced treatment options available and same-day appointments. Monument Health practitioners work closely with our therapists and physicians in communities throughout the Black Hills with locations in Rapid City and Spearfish. Visit monument.health slash orthopedics for more information. That's monument.health slash orthopedics for more information. Comes from right field to the mound. Baker moves from third to right, and the pitcher, Brickman, will go to third. That puts Brickman in the batting order, I believe, unless they're still going to DH for Brickman. Got my assistant trying to look up the career home run record, and he's digging back here. Live ticket TV, you got to be good for something. Come on, man. So Ethan Bulber. The bearded one on the mound for the Clone Chaos. Two run, home run for Brian Duxbury. Regains the lead for Salem. And here's another batter with power. Steve Melbreck, the left-handed hitting DH. 0 for 3 for the day. Does have an RBI. And there's, wow, that pitch is about 60, 65 miles an hour. Looked like a knuckleball. Taken for a ball. And there's another one. It's going to be lifted in the air to center field, and it's right at Terrence Kinzer. And Kinzer will squeeze that for out number one. Roger Duxbury, sixth in career home runs in the state tournament. They don't have the season records in there? They, I thought they did. So he's sixth all-time in state tournament home runs. Oh, Dad's proud. I know that much. Jacob Giles will be the batter with one away here in the seventh and a slow pitch just fouled off. Holy cow, does Ethan Bober. It's got to be a knuckleball. It's coming 60 miles an hour. That'll throw your timing off. One strike on Giles. Ground ball to second base. Kinzer up with it. And he's got a hustle to throw over there. Had to pump, double pumped and still got him, but Giles runs well. 
4-3 on the putout. Two away. And it'll be Jacob Von Berg, the catcher. Von Berg. One for three in the ball game with an RBI single. And he looks at a fastball. I think that's a fastball. Outside corner, strike one. Everything's relative. That's his fastball. There's another one. Lace to center field right at Kinzer. Oh, he almost had to go over his head, but hangs on for out number three. But the Duxbury two-run home run gives Salem the lead back. We go to the eighth inning. It's 8-6 Salem here on KJAM. Now is the time to save at Grossenberg Implement on Hydraulic Cylinders. Do you have an older one that you've been fighting for a while or continually, or continuously adding hydraulic oil to? Then stop in this week and save 8% on all hydraulic cylinders only at Grossenberg Implement. Not sure you want to tackle the job to replace it? Grossenberg can do that too. Stop in today and see how Grossenberg can help you. Grossenberg Implement, service to the ag community since 1937. This is Jason with Dakota Carpet Restoration. No job is too small or too big. Leaked water from frozen pipes, sump pump failures, or a flooded basement? We can help. If your house is underwater, no problem. Call us right away. Even if it's 3 in the morning, we'll take care of the water damage before mold sets in. Dakota Carpet Restoration, 481-8709. The clean you expect, the service you deserve. Left-hander into pitch, and that moves some things. Melbrecht comes from the DH to play first as they pinch ran that inning for the first baseman. Sattler, who did the pinch running, now takes over left field, and that'll change. That'll finish the changes for the Salem Cubs. So Sattler in left, and Melbrecht at first. That's Melbrecht's normal position. Did you find career home runs? It's not in there, huh? All righty, we know he has his sixth all-time in state tournament home runs. All I know is he's proud of his son, I'll guarantee you that. So Jacob Giles, this Madison Bronco, is in the ball game. Probably Madison's best pitcher this year. Did a nice job for Madison. Now asked to finish this ball game out for the Salem Cubs. And he'll be facing, for Cologne, the top of the batting order. It'll be Shea Connett, Jackson Kinzer, and Ben Connett to bat here in the eighth. 8-6. Eight, six. Cologne, six runs on 11 hits. They've committed one error. Salem, eight runs on 12 hits. And they've committed two throwing errors. Giles in. Jacob Von Berg going to have a discussion here as they talk about the signs. And Von Berg's maybe only seen Giles pitch once or twice. You know, and it's they got to get together here. Shea Conant, big big afternoon for Conant. He's three for four with three singles and a run scored. The Cologne left fielder, left-handed hitter. And Giles delivers a fastball at the letters, strike one. Who knows how many left-handed pitchers Shea Connett's seen this season, but here's one that throws pretty hard. Giles delivers, swing and a miss, way behind the fastball. Giles in that 84, 85 mile an hour range. Football player for Dakota State University, wide receiver. He can run and he can throw, and the lefty delivers a breaking ball, stays high, and it's two and one, or one and two, rather. My dyslexia is showing up here on this Sunday afternoon. Game started at 11. It's now 1 o'clock. You're listening to FM 103, KJAM Madison. Breaking ball fouled straight back. One and two. Yep. Yeah. So one and two, the count to the leadoff man here in the eighth. Two-run home run for Salem in the seventh. Regains the lead. They're up 8-6. Swing and a miss. Goes after a high fastball and can't find it. 
So Giles strikes out the first batter he faces, and here's Jackson Kinzer. Can Salem Cubs come to the state tournament and win games again? They surprised people last year winning two. Maybe it shouldn't have been a surprise. Jackson Kinzer, the batter. He's one for four on the day with a run scored. And he looks at a fastball away, ball one. Ben Connett on deck for the Cologne Chaos. Jackson Kinzer, 388 hitter on the season. Giles with a full windup breaking ball, swing and a miss. He swung under it. He read the break on it because he, he altered his bat arc and just swung under it. So they're seeing, he saw the break anyhow. Right-handed batter with a left-handed pitcher. And there's a chopper going to go to the third base coaching box and an air on the third base coach as it goes through the wickets. Two strikes. Nice start for Luke Loudenberg. Gave up a lot of hits, but kind of controlled the action. You know, he, he didn't let the game get totally out of control, so nice job, Luke Loudenberg. Now Giles' turn to finish it. There's a sidearm fastball on that pitch way outside, two and two. Jacob will do that. He'll drop down sidearm. Two-two pitch to Jackson Kinzer. Breaking ball hit in the air to deep center field. Cleveland runs back to his right, and he has it for out number two. Just a long fly ball out here at Cadwell Park. You want a home run, you got to earn it like Duxbury did last inning. There's nothing cheap here. Even with the breeze blowing out to right, there's nothing cheap here. And here's Ben Connick. Connick has been a pest for the Salem Cubs tonight, or today. Walked. Reached in an air, singled and scored, and ground out. So he's one for three. And he looks at a knee-high fastball, strike one. Outfield has backed up a little bit now, respecting Connett's power. Giles delivers the big bender, bends around the plate. One and one. Jacob Giles. In for relief for Loudenberg. There's another breaking ball, and that hits that outside corner. Crowd cheers before I do, so they the umpire must be verbal. I can't hear the umpire, but the crowd can. He must yell strike, and then the crowd cheers, and then he shows me, and the next breaking ball misses. Trying to take advantage of being a left-hander here, throwing that curveball that starts way outside and drops across the plate. Missed that one outside. Two balls, two strikes, with two out here in the eighth. Fastball going to be lifted in the air to short right field. Duxbury calls it and has it for out number three. Three up, three down for Colomb in the eighth. Eight, six, Salem leads. They'll look to add to their lead with Cleveland and Lind coming up to start the eighth inning. We'll be back in one minute. Eklund Tax Service, located at 323 Main Street in Gregory, South Dakota, is available for all your tax preparations. Mark Eklund has been a staple in the Gregory community for many years and wants to help you and your business have success by specializing in all types of bookkeeping. Eklund Tax can take care of any agricultural, retail, or personal bookkeeping or tax preparation. Call Mark at Eklund Tax today at 605-835-9665. Are you looking to steal a deal on your next vehicle? Whether you're looking for a car, truck, or SUV, shop from over 1,000 vehicles at MenholtAuto.com. Menholt Auto Group is a proud supporter of the South Dakota State Baseball Tournament and would like to wish good luck to all participating players and teams. Have a great game and knock one out of the park from Denny Menholt Rapid Chevrolet, Toyota, and Rushmore Honda. All three stores conveniently located off I-90 Exit 60, Rapid City. Park in 
Mitchell. For Salem in the eighth, here's Tyler Cleveland, and he takes a fastball high and tight, ball one. Cleveland 0 for 3 in the ball game, facing Ethan Bolber here. And there's a bunt down the third baseline. This is going to be trouble, and trying to make a super play is Brickman, and Brickman can't come up with it. So a leadoff bunt single for Tyler Cleveland. That's Tyler's strength. The small ball stuff, he does that well, and he bunts his way on, and Rob Lynn comes up. The pickup player from the Wood Ducks. Two for four in the ball game. A pair of singles for Tyler, or for Rob Lynn today, left-handed batter. Now with Cleveland, the base runner at first, Tyler runs really well. Bober from the stretch now delivers an off-speed pitch off outside. Ball one. I don't think I'm, I'm not insulting Ethan Bober when I say he soft tosses. There goes the runner, and Lynn swings and fouls the pitch back. One ball, one strike. So Cleveland will go back to second. He went on the pitch. 1-1 one, one the count to Rob Lynn. Negabauer on deck for the Salem Cubs. Slash down the left field line and foul. And now a pitcher's count for Ethan Bober. One ball, two strikes to Rob Lynn. Cleveland stayed home that time. I look for him to go this pitch. Volber comes set. Runner doesn't go, and the off-speed pitch floats high. Two balls, two strikes. Volber glares over at the runner. Now comes set. And it's pitch is fouled back, and we'll stay at 2-2. Volber's unique set. A lot of guys, they'll set against their chest. He sets about a foot and a half out in front of himself. His arms are way out away from himself. Kind of unique. Pitch is going to be hit straight up in the air. Chance for the catcher. And nice play. We've seen catchers mess that up the whole tournament, but not late in team. And he squeezes that foul for out number one. Negabauer, the batter, right handed hitting shortstop. Oh, one for three in the ballgame. Single last time up. Ended up stranded at second base in the sixth inning. Eight six, Salem would love to add to their lead here in the eighth. In the ninth for Cologne, they'll send up the heart of their order. Jake Luce, Terrence Kinzer, Ethan Bober to bat in the ninth for Cologne. Swing and a miss. And it's two strikes on Landon Negabauer. Bell tie pitch right down the middle. And Negabauer, he had to go for a little walk after that one. Where did, how did I miss that? I don't know. Strike two. Up the middle goes the ground ball. And it's going to be bobbled. Now, and the umpire's, and they rule him out. The ball, I saw the ball laying on the ground, and somehow they got it in control before the Cleveland could get to the bag. So Cleveland's ruled out on kind of a messy play at second base. So Negabar will reach on a fielder's choice. And Cleveland retired six unassisted. He lost the ball. He kind of shoveled the ball himself to himself at second base and then stepped on the bag. But he couldn't have. It was a bang-bang play. Snap throw over to first. Negabauer back. Cole Cheeseman, the batter. Cheeseman, two for three. Pair of singles. Also been hit by a pitch and scored a run. There goes Negabauer. And a throw will be down to second, not in time. That was a called steal because Cheeseman took the pitch. I believe it was a strike. Yes, it was. So that was a called steal. Cheeseman taken all the way. Let Negabauer get to second with two out. So strike one on Cheeseman. Snap throw to second. And Negabauer back. So Negabauer, who runs really well, is on second base. 
Can Cheeseman get his third hit of the ball game? Fastball high. So Bober, he can throw a little harder. He, he chooses not to. He showed a little speed on that one. One ball, one strike. Off-speed pitch going to be chopped. Foul, fair, foul. It's on the line. It's fair ball. And it's going to work for a hit as it stopped in the divots there, the foot divots along the baseline. It rolled about eight feet and just stopped. And Volber, he wanted to swat that ball into the crowd. He ends up picking it up, throwing it to first. And Cheeseman, who runs well, ends up there. Negabauer goes to third. Runners at the corners now. That is one of the worst hit signal, singles I've ever seen in my career. It went about eight feet and died in a foot divot. And that's just like he teed the ball up there and he's safe with a single. Jackson Sattler, the batter. Runner goes, Sattler swings and fouls a fastball back onto the netting by the concession stand. So Cole Cheeseman had second stolen, but he'll have to go back to first on the foul ball. Sattler maybe would have wanted to take that pitch and let Cheeseman steal, but swung at it. Sattler, right-handed hitter. Cheeseman goes, and Sattler takes this pitch, and it was inside. One ball, one strike. Sattler, a 167 hitter on the season. And he's going to hit a chopper to shortstop. Ben Connick, skip and a throw, and that'll end the inning. So Salem puts some men on base but can't add to their lead. We go to the ninth inning, last chance for Cologne. It's 8-6. We'll be back in one minute. The Golda Buffalo Casino at Lower Brule is proud of our area youth for their competitive spirit and participation in the various high school activities. It takes dedication and commitment to be the best you can be. It's all about sportsmanship and not whether you win or lose, but how you play the game. The Golda Buffalo Casino is your winning destination for great food and more ways to win. More often, our youth, our future. We at the Golda Buffalo Casino say thanks for all you do. When we think American-made, we think quality and craftsmanship. That's why at Badlands Distillery, all of our spirits are made in-house, one small batch at a time. We believe the best spirits start with the best ingredients, so we're proud that the Badlands Distillery lineup uses high-quality, locally-sourced ingredients. So the next time you enjoy the smooth taste of a Badlands Distillery spirit, you know you're drinking the best. Badlands Distillery, proudly American-made. their regular second baseman Isaac Anderson will come in for Rob Lind. Uh, Anderson a really smooth fielder. This is a good move. Defensive change. Bring Anderson in. Anderson can really play defense. Second base. Isaac Anderson into the ball game for Lind. So Lind, his day is done. What would he do? Two for five. That's a nice job for the pickup player. So Isaac Anderson into the ball game. And Rob Lind, good fielder. Isaac Anderson, just a better fielder. So defensive change here. I don't think so. They just made that one change. So the cleanup man, Jake Luce, will start. Luce, 0 for 3 in the ball game. Did have an RBI and a hit by pitch. So he got hit with the bases loaded. And Jake Giles. Delivers a fastball away, ball one. Loose is dangerous, 429 hitter. We know he can hit, he just hasn't hit today. Don't want him to start right now. Here's the one ball pitch. Fastball swing and a miss. Must have been a change up. Loose way out in front of it. One ball, one strike. The winner of this game plays Wednesday night against the winner of the next game, South Central and winner Cologne. Fastball hit into the air. Foul territory by first base. Melbreck squeezes up, and the Salem crowd cheering tells you that he caught that. So one away. 
Terrence Kinzer will be the batter. Terrence one for four in the ball game. A pair of fly ball outs and a strikeout for Terrence today. Also a single and a run scored. Right-handed hitter, 298. Season batting average. One out, 8-6. Salem trying to put this one away. And first pitch swinging, lifted in foul territory by the first base dugout. Melbreck squeezes that. Two foul ball outs. And Salem one out away from another state tournament win. Call it automatic. Salem's going to win in the state tournament. What a nice reputation to have. Here's the pitcher, Ethan Vober. Vober. And third base coach is going to do some managing. And I think they're going to pinch hit for Vober. No, they're going to put a pinch hitter on deck, I believe. Vober is one for four. And he goes first pitch swinging. One hopper to Cheeseman. Cheeseman the long throw. And this one's a good throw. And this game is over. How about them Salem Cubs as they win a first round tournament game eight to six over the Cologne Chaos, a battle of two young teams that started out kind of ragged and then settled down to be an entertaining, good baseball game. So the Salem Cubs will play Wednesday night on the FM dial and they'll take on the winner of the next game here in Mitchell, South Central and Winter Cologne will match up next. We'll be back with a short post-game show from Cadwell Park in Mitchell in three minutes.